اعوذ باللہ من الشیطان الرجیم بسم اللہ الرحمن الرحیم ڈیئر اسٹوڈنٹس السلام علیکم دس از لیکچر الیون آف دا انٹیگریٹ اکویشنس بیفور دس ویڈیڈ سم میتھڈس فار دا سولوشن آف فریڈام انٹیگریٹ اکویشنس آف سیکنڈ کائنڈ اینڈ ٹو ڈے لیکچر آئی ول ڈسکس اباؤٹ دا ہوموجینیس فریڈام انٹیگریٹ اکویشنس The following are the contents of today's lecture. First, I'll discuss the standard form of homogeneous freedom integral equations. Then, uh, I'll recall the direct computation method which we have used for the freedom integral equations of second kind. Then, uh, we will try to apply the direct computation method to some test problems. And finally, I will end with references. Homogeneous Freedom Integral Equations The standard form of homogeneous Freedom Integral Equation is given in 1, where in 1, k of xt is the separable kernel and u is the unknown function to be computed. Remember, Uh, you saw in previous cases that uh, u of x was equal to f of x uh, plus lambda integral from a to b k of x t u of t dt. But in this case f of x is 0. So that's why this equation is known as homogeneous freedom integral equation. Now one can see easily that uh, the trivial solution u of x equal to 0 satisfy equation 1. But uh, we are not interested in trivial solution. Our goal will be focused on finding the non-trivial solution of equation 1 if exist. The direct computation method. Here we recall uh, the direct computation method because uh, in homogeneous freedom integral equation, uh, f of x term is equal to 0. So that's why we cannot apply like uh, ADM technique or modified ADM technique. Now the direct computation method uh, basically reduces the integral equation to an algebraic equation if the kernel consists of one term only or to a system of algebraic equation if the kernel contains many separable terms. This means that uh, basically what we are doing in uh, a direct computation method, we convert the integral equation to algebraic equation. So there should be one algebraic equation if the separable kernel just one term and if uh, the separable kernel contains many terms, this means then this there should be a system of algebraic equations. Consider the separable kernel k of x t is equal to g of uh, x h of t and using this uh, k of x t in equation 1, we are getting equation 2 where equation 2 has been obtained from equation 1 just by plugging k of x t with g of x in h of t. Now since integration is with respect to t, so we are taking g of x out of the integral sign. Now. And direct computation method, since uh, this is a function of t, h of t, u of t, and uh, the definite integral of this uh, h of t, u of t is just a constant. So we replace this, con this integral by a constant. Using the direct computation method, we set alpha is equal to integral from a to b, h of t, u of t, dt. Now this alpha is the constant or this is the value of this integral. So using this equation 3 in equation 2, we are getting u of x is equal to lambda g of x alpha. Remember this u of x is equal to lambda g of x alpha. This is our solution. But remember there is a parameter lambda and uh, a constant alpha. So we are looking for the non-trivial solution. So for this uh, we will discuss or we will find out the values of lambda for which there is a non-trivial solution. 
and this also uh, depends on alpha that uh, what is the value of alpha or for which value of alpha we consider the value of lambda so you can see from equation 4 that when alpha is equal to 0 this gives us the trivial solution only u of x equal to 0 because on right hand side when alpha is 0 so u of x will be equal to 0 uh, which is not of our interest so to determine the non-trivial solution of equation 1 we need to determine the values of the parameter lambda by considering alpha not equal to 0 so this means that we will find out the value of lambda for alpha not equal to 0 because for alpha equal to 0 this leads to trivial solution now this value can be find out or this can be done by substituting equation 4 into equation 3 to obtain equation 5 where equation 5 is alpha is equal to lambda alpha integral from a to b h of t g of t dt just we have substituted equation 4 into equation 3 or equivalently this equation 5 can be written in the form of equation 6 because uh, lambda lambda will be cancelled and we are just getting 1 is equal to lambda integral from a to b h of t g of t uh, dt and uh, that equation 6 gives us a numerical value for lambda not equal to 0 by evaluating the definite integral it means that when we evaluate the definite integral then we can find out the numerical value of lambda and uh, when we find out the value of that uh, this lambda then the non-trivial solution uh, can be obtained in equation 4 uh, because we discussed in equation 4 that uh, there is a parameter lambda and we will find out the values of lambda for alpha not equal to 0 again uh, we recall that for separable kernel that contains more than one term then the method uh, uh, of direct computation will reduces the homogeneous freedom integral equation to system of algebraic equations here uh, we consider a specific example to test the direct computation method for homogeneous freedom integral equations so we first solve the homogeneous freedom integral equation with one term kernel which is given in 7 remember uh, there is just one term kernel so this integral equation uh, will be converted to algebraic equation just one algebraic equation as discussed earlier that uh, in direct computation method we substitute in the instead of integral part mean that uh, the integral term uh, like in this equation integral from 0 to 1 x u of t dt so we substitute this integral from 0 to 1 u of t dt with alpha so by substituting this alpha is equal to integral from 0 to 1 u of t dt in the given equation we are getting equation 8 which is u of x is equal to lambda alpha x now we will determine the value of alpha uh, the value of lambda for alpha not equal to 0 to find out the non-trivial solution so this equation 8 is basically our solution but we need to determine the value of lambda for alpha not equal to 0 so to find out the value of lambda substituting equation 8 into equation 9 so when we substitute equation 8 into equation 9 we are getting alpha is equal to lambda alpha integral from 0 to 1 t dt here we have this integral integral from 0 to 1 t dt so we first evaluate this integral so alpha is equal to lambda alpha integral from 0 to 1 t dt so integration of t with respect to t that should be t square divided by 2 so lambda alpha by 2 t square from 0 to 1 so applying upper and lower limits we are getting lambda alpha divided by 2 so the value of alpha is equal to half lambda alpha now again you can see that alpha exists on both sides so alpha uh, into alpha that should be cancelled 
and we are just getting lambda is equal to 2 and this lambda is equal to 2 is known as the eigenvalue of the kernel so eigenvalue of the kernel is just when we convert the integral equation to algebraic equation and then solve that algebraic equation for lambda this is known as the eigenvalue of the kernel so the eigenvalue of the kernel is lambda is equal to 2 substituting equation 12 into uh, equation 11 this gives alpha is equal to alpha which indicates that alpha is an arbitrary so for alpha not equal to 0 a lambda is equal to 2 this is the, the parameter values or the lambda value is equal to 2 so using equation 12 and 13 in equation 8 the eigenfunction of the equation is given by u of x is equal to 2ax remember eigenfunction is basically the equation the, the solution of the predominant integral equation when we substitute the value of lambda so alpha is arbitrary just alpha is not equal to 0 because when alpha is equal to 0 so then the solution will be equals to 0 so that's why alpha is uh, arbitrary and uh, will not include 0 and lambda will be equals to 2 and uh, the eigenfunction will be equal to 2ax this is our solution so this means that eigenfunction is basically the solution so when one term kernel exists then the integral equation will be converted to uh, the algebraic equation and uh, from that algebraic equation we can find out the value of uh, lambda uh, we next consider another example uh, having more than one separable kernels for this we consider equation 15 now uh, in equation 15 you can see that we have the term k cos of x plus t so we have a formula that cos of alpha plus beta is equal to cos alpha cos beta minus sin alpha sin beta here we have x and t instead of alpha and beta so cos x plus t will be equals to cos x cos t minus sin x sin t so when we substitute uh, this cos x plus t in equation 15 we are getting a different separable kernels so by substituting the formula equation 15 can be written as in the form of equation 16 now you can see that we have one separable kernel cos x cos t and the other separable kernel sin x sin t uh, since cos x and sin x both are not function of t so we uh, taking cos x and sin x out of the integral sign now in the direct computation method uh, we substitute now this part with alpha and this part with beta because this is only function of t and this is also only function of t so we substitute this with alpha and this with beta so this equation 16 can be written in uh, the form of u of x is equal to 2 by pi lambda which is common in both here is 2 by pi lambda and here is also 2 by pi lambda so we are taking this common and uh, the value of this integral should be alpha cos x minus beta sin x where in equation 6 17 and uh, alpha and beta are these integral uh, which are also given uh, in this slide that this is the value of alpha and this is the value of uh, beta now to find out the value of uh, lambda substituting equation 17 into equation 18 and 19 so first we substitute uh, this the value of that u of t which is e basically uh, equation 17 over here and then we substitute that over here so by plugging the value of equation 17 in equation 18 we are getting alpha is equal to integral from 0 to pi cos t 2 by pi lambda alpha cos t minus beta sin t dt remember when we multiply this cos of t with this cos of t that should be cos square t and when this cos t with this uh, sin t so that should be cos t sin t so we 
uh, apply integral uh, integration over this part as well as over this part. So uh, after little calculation, we are getting alpha is equal to 2 by pi lambda integral from 0 to pi alpha cos square t minus beta cos t sin t dt. And this uh, now we apply the integrals to this part as well as to this part we are getting this expression. Now we will integrate this cos square t and then with cos t sin t. So we have a formula uh, from trigonometry that cos square t will be equal to 1 plus cos 2t divided by 2. So we substitute this cos square t over here and then uh, we integrate this. So integral from 0 to pi 1 plus cos 2t divided by 2 dt this will be a 1 by 2 is a, a constant so 1 by 2 into the integral of 1 that should be t from 0 to pi and integral of cos 2t will be sin 2t divided by 2 from 0 to pi. So uh, from this term we are just getting phi because uh, phi minus 0 that should be just phi and from this term sin phi that should be equals to uh, sin 4 phi that should be equals to 0 and uh, minus sin 0 that should be equals to 0. So we are getting just phi by 2 from this integral. Now we also evaluate uh, this integral. So integral from 0 to phi sin t cos t since sin is the function and cos t is the derivative of this function so by uh, one of the formula integral of this uh, sin t cos t will be equal to sin square t divided by 2 from 0 to phi. Now by applying upper limit minus lower limit so that should be equal to what sin pi sin square phi that should be 0 and uh, similarly sin 0 that should be 0. So this means that uh, this part of the integral uh, just uh, 0. Hence alpha is equal to 2 by pi lambda alpha and uh, first one integral is 0 and rest of the integral gives us just phi by 2. So we are getting uh, lambda alpha because phi pi will be cancelled out and 2 2 will be cancelled out. We are just getting alpha is equal to lambda alpha. And similarly when we consider the uh, when we substitute the value of the solution equation 17 in equation 19 we are getting beta is equal to minus lambda beta. So now you can see that uh, we have alpha is equal to lambda alpha and beta is equal to minus lambda beta. So this is now a system of equations because uh, the separable kernels are uh, not a single. There are two terms separable kernel. Now for alpha is equal to 0 and beta is not equal to 0 we obtained the eigenvalues lambda 1 is equal to 1 and lambda 2 is equal to minus 1. See from these two equations alpha is equal to lambda alpha when alpha is not equal to 0 and beta is equal to 0 then lambda will be equal to what uh, from here when beta is equal to 0 so just this equation will give us lambda is equal to 1 and similarly when beta is not equal to 0 and alpha is equal to 0 we are getting again uh, the lambda is equal to minus 1. So here we have two eigenvalues lambda 1 is equal to 1 and lambda 2 is equal to minus 1. So when we substitute lambda 1 is equal to 1 in equation 20 and 21 we are getting alpha is equal to alpha and beta is equal to 0 and in this case the corresponding eigenfunction will be equal to u1 of x 2 by alpha or uh, 2 by pi alpha cos x. Uh, this can be find out from equation 17 by plugging beta is equal to 0 and alpha is equal to alpha. So our first eigenfunction corresponding to this eigenvalue is u1 of x is equal to 2 by pi alpha cos x. And similarly when lambda 2 is equal to minus 1 uh, this is the case when uh, beta is equal to beta and uh, alpha is equal to 0. So using this in equation 20 and equation 21 we are getting uh, lambda 2 is equal to minus 1. Now this is another eigenvalue and uh, the corresponding eigenfunction can be find out from equation 17 uh, by plugging beta is equal to beta and alpha is equal to 0 and that should be u2 of x is equal to 2 by pi beta sin x. 
so you saw that for more than one separable kernels there should be a system of algebraic equations and from that system of algebraic equation we can find out the values of the, the eigen values and then, then we can find out uh, the corresponding eigen functions and these eigen functions are basically our solutions now uh, these are the references the student have the book in soft as, as well as in hair hard form so or uh, try to solve exercise 2.8 from this uh, book number 5 and if you have any problem you can ask me through email thank you very much